Mm. Hi there. My name is Father Raya Pakasi from the Diocese of Vello. I am the Catholic priest. Uh, recently I heard Howard biologist Edward O. Wilson talking about what we shouldn't do. He uses the axiom called hippo. You know the hippopotamus. The short form is hippo. H-I-P-P-O. Hippo. We shouldn't do that in order to save planet Earth. The first thing is the H represents habitat destruction. I represents invasive species. The first P represents pollution. The fourth P represents population. The last O represent over exploitation of the natural resources. So the first habitat destruction, H. We shouldn't do that. In order to build our houses, we need not destroy the vast amount of forest in order to build roads, malls, factories, houses. We seem to destroy awful lot of trees. Animals live there. They have rights of existence. Each time when you want to build something, we eradicate them. We sideline them. When we destroy forest, animals become refugees. I call them ecological refugees. When you see monkeys roaming all over India, they are the victims of habitat destruction. And we shouldn't do that according to the Harvard biologist Edward O. Wilson. So the second one is I, invasive species. Today, invasive species destroy a lot of local ecology. For example, in India, we brought eucalyptus tree. Actually, eucalyptus grow in Australia and India brought it. So eucalyptus tree is an invasive species we brought from some other country to our country. And recently we talk about parthenium. It is called Congress weed. When America uh, uh, gave us wheat in 1960s and 70s through the um, uh, Caritas, a lot of seeds of parthenium, they invaded India and they began to grow in India and today it has become a big problem uh, for health and for other plants and insects. So each time when you bring some uh, species from some other country, always we put a big risk on local ecology. We shouldn't do that. And uh, uh, our endemic species, that means plants and animals proper to the place, we need to conserve and we need to promote. And when you plant trees, plant trees, those who grow, those who are endemic to the land and environment. In that way, we can protect our environment. The third one is pollution. P. You know very well pollution. I need not talk about it. Today, lots of greenhouse gases uh, creating uh, and changing our climate, uh, especially chlorofluorocarbons, methane, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, all these gases, they trap the sun's energy and we know how it feels. And uh, through our cars, especially transportation, everybody has a car, a motorbike, and we do pollute. 
and uh, our carbon footprint is so high in India, each person consumes at least one ton of coal every year uh, for their energy and for their transportation. We need to cut down our carbon footprint by 50% in order to uh, show our love for the planet. The fourth one is population. Today, 7 billion people on this fragile planet. Biologists talk about the carrying capacity of the earth. What does it mean? In other words, how many human beings can planet earth support? Many believe only 3 billion people is the ideal number giving the amount of food, water, air, we can have a, we can create a healthy environment for 3 billion people but we are 7 billion of us and we are twice the carrying capacity of the earth but some other scientists believe only 1 billion uh, because our consumption level is so high, the consumption and our uh, building habits and living habits and our traveling habits and we consume a lot. The present lifestyle can support only one billion people and uh, we need to understand that many civilizations disappear because of too many people. You must have heard about the Petri dish experiment. You introduce a bacteria in a small container and uh, they eat, they consume fast, fast, fast. As the bacteria is going to disappear, they grow exponentially. As the food is running out of the Petri dish, they multiply faster, faster, faster and the food is gone and all the bacteria dies. So that is what we have to learn from Petri dish experience. And um, uh, as the water becoming less and the food availability is becoming less and we are increasing our population level and we are planning to become 10 billion of humans by the turn of this century. Such a population level is it's not sustainable. And the last one is over exploitation of natural resources. Oh, yeah. There are resources for everybody. We can use them. I think we are abusing them. That is the problem. Always use is good. Abuse is bad. Today, 80% of the natural resources have been plundered. Only 20% of the natural resources are available on planet Earth. Now you tell me, how our future generations are going to live on 20% of the remaining resources? And there are so many civilizations, they went into oblivion because of over exploitation of natural resources. We need to create natural resources, not deplete them, not deplete them. One day they are going to finish. So everything is gone. Life is over. So anyway, you got to think these five words. Hippo. H I P P O. Don't do that. So I thank Harvard biologist Edward O. Wilson for inspiring all of us. And thank you and God bless.